Welcome to this video. In this video, we will simulate a positive clipper circuit using LT Spice. So this is the icon of LT Spice. So double click on that. So LT Spice will open. Here, uh, go to File and click on New Schematic. So this is the area where we will draw the circuit diagram. So we need a AC voltage source, uh, a resistor and a diode and a battery so we will place each component one by one so first we will place a place an ac voltage source so go to this symbol this gate symbol so here you can see uh, it is written as component so click and that is component library so click on that so this component library will open in this search box you can search voltage okay so this voltage source symbol comes up so click on OK and so you can place this voltage source anywhere in this window uh, so let me place it here uh, click uh, a single left click will place the uh, voltage source at the desired location and when you move the cursor you can see another voltage source coming up so if you don't need uh, that second source you can just right click the mouse so it will be removed Okay, now we need a resistor. So resistance is directly given here. So click on that. So we need to uh, change the orientation. So press Control R and left click. So I can place it here. Now a second resistor comes up. So we don't need that. So just right click. Now we need a diode. So diode is also directly available here. Uh, so I will place the diode now I need a battery so to take the battery you have to go to this component library so here search battery B -A -T -T. so it comes up so click on ok so now place it here ok so now all the components are ready now we can connect them so here you can see uh, a pencil like symbol so it is the wire, wire tool available in LT Spice. so using that you can connect the components so left click on that now uh, I will left click on the voltage source so this wire will come up now I can connect it to the resistance by left clicking similarly I can join all these components okay so the connection is complete now mm, this wire uh, to remove this wiring tool just right click okay so the connection is over now in order to simulate uh, circuits in LT spice you have to provide a reference node so for ground so ground symbol is available here so we can place it in here okay so all the components are ready now we can give um, values so right click on the voltage source so it is asking for a DC value but we need an AC source so click on this advanced option and here you can see the third option is sign so select that sign and give the amplitude and the frequency amplitude is 8 volt frequency is 50 Hertz so click OK no other value you have to give so now 8 volt 50 Hertz sine wave will be available from this source now we have to give the value of resistor so right click on the resistance give 2 kilo ohm 2k now right click uh, on the battery and we can give that voltage magnitude say 3 volt ok so so all the values are available now we can uh, run the simulation so go to the simulate menu and click on run so this edit simulation command dialog box will come uh, here you can give the by default it will be in this transient mode here uh, you can give the simulation time the stop time means how much time this circuit has to be simulated so this is a 50 Hertz sine wave 
So time period is 20 milliseconds. Suppose we want to see five cycles, we can give 100 milliseconds for simulation time. So I will give 100 m. So 100 m stands for 100 milliseconds simulation time. So click OK. So when I click the OK, a second window comes up. So in this area, the output voltage or any desired voltage waveform or current waveform will be displayed. So when I touch the circuit diagram, you can see the mouse pointer turns into a probe. So if I click on the input side, it will show the voltage with respect to voltage of this point with respect to ground. So that is sine wave, input sine wave. So you can see input sine wave with the peak value 8 volt and uh, time period is 20 millisecond or 50 hertz, uh, frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. So if I want to remove this waveform from this graph, this title of the graph is available here, VN001. Just right click on that. So this box will come up here. Click on delete this trace. So it will be removed. Now I have to plot the output waveform. So click on the output side. So output will be obtained, with, uh, output voltage will be measured from this anode of the diode uh, with respect to this ground. So click on this anode of the diode. So you can see the output waveform. So there is a clipping at this level. So if I want to see both input as well as output, click on input also. So both waveforms will be overlapped. So now I can remove uh, uh, input waveform or output waveform. So input is this blue color waveform. Suppose I want to remove it. So just uh, click right click on the name VN001 and click delete this trace. So it will be removed. So now only output waveform is there. So you can see it is clipped at somewhere around uh, just below 4 volt and negative half cycle is coming as it. In positive half cycle uh, it is clipped. So if I want to measure this clipping level just right click on this title of the waveform. So this box will come up here you can see an option attached to cursor. So click on that and select first cursor. Click OK. So this cursor will come up. So you can move it anywhere on the waveform and you can see the X and Y coordinates. So suppose I place it here. So I can read the X coordinate 44.87 milliseconds and Y coordinate is 3.67 volt. So this clipping level is approximately 3.7 volt. That is what we have seen from the theory. So this is how you will simulate a uh, simple electronic circuit in LT space. So we can continue this in the next class. Thank you.